nearly four years into the Yemen conflict, an attempt at brokering peace, with parties meeting in a castle outside the Swedish capital Stockholm since December 6th. Expectations have been modest for this first round of talks between Yemen's government and the Houthi rebels. But there is now a glimmer of hope. The parties have agreed on one of the most difficult issues. We have reached an agreement on a daily port and city, which will see a mutual redeployment of forces from the port and the city and the establishment of a governorate-wide ceasefire. The UN will play a leading role in the port, and this will facilitate the humanitarian access and the flow of goods to the civilian population, and it will improve the living conditions for millions of Yemenis. Heavily populated Hodeida has been under rebel control for the past two years, and the Saudi-led coalition has periodically blockaded it. Hodeida is a critical lifeline for the poverty-stricken country, which imports more than 70 percent of its food, fuel and medical supplies. Guterres said efforts to reach agreements on reopening two key airports and economic measures to revive the collapsed economy fell short, but could still happen in the coming days, as discussions continue behind the scenes. An agreement was also reached to exchange 15,000 prisoners from both sides by January 20th. Assistant UN Secretary General for Human Rights Andrew Gilmore, who recently traveled to Yemen, told VOA that detention conditions there are unspeakable. He welcomed news of the exchange. I think it's very, very important, and, and uh, important not just in terms of the mitigating the suffering of those people held in terrible conditions of detention, but also as a confidence-building measure that could have a political knock-on effect. The fighting between the Saudi-backed government of exiled President Abdu Rabu Mansour Hadi and the Iranian-aligned Houthi rebels has devastated Yemen's economy and left more than 12 million people on the brink of famine. The UN has asked donors for $4 billion next year to help alleviate the suffering. Humanitarians classify levels of food insecurity, and the bulk of the country is considered an emergency four-phase crisis. But UN humanitarian chief Mark Lowcock says there are now a quarter of a million people at the worst level, phase five. We have never before documented people in phase five in um, the food crisis in Yemen. And those people are concentrated overwhelmingly in four districts, Taiz, Sada, Haja, and Hudaida, which are all districts where the conflict is raging um, quite intensely. On Friday, the UN Security Council will meet to discuss a resolution backing the agreements made in Sweden. The United Nations plans to convene a second round of intra-Yemeni talks early next year in an effort to keep the momentum for peace alive. Margaret Bashir, VOA News, the United Nations.